Rahasha and Kaladev, I invite you to come into me. Take me over so I can trans channel you. So Rahasha and Kaladev, what message do you have for us today? We are from the Ra Kaladev and all may call us Rahasha. There are many plans of existence that you do not see. The plans of existence are what you would call densities. You have the first density, which are the stones, the inanimate things, the water. Then you have the second density, which is animal, trees. You have the third density, which is humankind on planet Earth. And fourth density, which you are aspiring towards. And fifth density, sixth density, which we are from. Seventh density, which is pure consciousness. And eighth density, which is the divine. This all come from the one, the infinite creator and they form the oneness. All of us, we start out from first density and work our way up. It is no different for anyone. And the only way to work from one density to another is service to others. That is why service to others is so important. You may ask, why service to others? Why is service to others so important? Isn't the infinite creator more important? Should we not be focused more on the infinite creator than service to others? The answer lies in the oneness. The infinite creator is the one. We come from the one the infinite creator and we are all one with everything every form on the planet and all the universes we are one the sooner you realize that the sooner you will arrive at enlightenment reaching the divine the all until then, you have to learn to walk the path to oneness. It is an easy concept and yet very hard to practice on planet Earth because you are so close to yourself, to your ego. Third density planet Earth is defined by duality and polarity the two poles, the two pillars. And these two can set you apart, cause you to war one with another and not come to unity or fruition. And that is part of being third density being. To arrive at that oneness, you have to feel one with everything with the stone, the flower, the animal, the trees, people, your loved ones, your enemies, everything. The universes, us. You have to learn how to experience it all as oneness. And there's a simple exercise that I just taught the other channelers members yesterday. What you do is you call one aspect to yourself. You could start with first density stone. You call it to you. You imagine it entering your sphere. You look at it, you know what it is. 
you recognize it for what it is, and then you embrace it to yourself. You feel one with it. You feel one with the stone. You feel the energy. You sense the energy. You let your whole being feel and pulse it with everything that the stone is, knowing that this was where you came from. First density, stone, water. So after you have accepted that, you let it go. And then you call on water, a glass of water. And you look at the water and you realize that a good part of your body is made of water. And in the water, you recognize the same consciousness left by the infinite creator, the divine. You look at the clearness, the beauty of the water. You see it glistening, shining in the sun. And you realize you never notice how beautiful the water is. Beautiful and pure in its utter clearness, cleanness and simplicity. And you hold the water close to you. You drink the water in. You feel it going down inside you, becoming one with you. And you experience the beauty of it, the oneness of it. Or you could go under the shower and call on the water and ask the water cascade over you. Feel its glorious feeling, the cleansing property of the water as it cascades over you and cleanses you of everything and refreshes you. And in that moment, as the water seep into your skin, you feel that oneness with the water. And then, having experienced that oneness, you let it go. And you call onto you an animal you love most. We use a deer with the other channeler, but with you, we would use dog because we know you love the dog the most. As you call in the dog into your energetic field, close to you. You look into the eyes of the dog, and within its steps, you see clearness, knowing, awareness, and you realize that these are creatures of the infinite creator, that they are Beings like you, though on a lower density, you hold the dog close to you. You feel the warmth of its body. You feel the hairs of its body warming you. And as you hold that precious body close to you, you feel oneness with it and we know that is the easiest one for you to feel oneness with dogs because you love dogs so much you have no problem no difficulty experiencing that oneness being one with god as you allow yourself to relish its warm energy its love, its vitality. I feel being one with it. You thank it and you let it go. And you call in someone you love. And this is your sister. 
things were not all smooth sailing when you were young. There were competition, rivalry. But now, as you call a loved one in, this sister comes into your heart. And you realize, because you grow up together, depending on each other, falling upon each other for comfort and support, that, that love is the deepest in your heart for this sister. And so you let go the past. You let go everything in the past. You embrace her. You held her close. You experience her energy, which is beautiful today. Like you, she has grown, changed, and evolved through the years. As you embrace her, you drink in her loving energy, for she is full of love and concern for others. She is an empath like you. But unlike you, she doesn't know how to protect herself. And so as you hold her close, all the more you cherish her. And you love her. It is easy to love her. She is, after all, your flesh and blood. And you feel one with her. Having experienced a oneness with her, you let her go. And then you call in an enemy of yours. She found love and goodness towards you, but you knew it was all fake. That it was just a good cover she put on. That even as she smiled at you and praised you, if she were able to, she would stab you with a knife or drive the knife into your back. And you knew this was how the person is with you. And you welcome her into your inner space. As you look at her, you have to remind yourself that she comes from the infinite creator. The infinite creator is in her. The divine is in her. That you and she comes from the same source and that she and you will go back to the same source. You look at her, at the insincerity on her face. And even as you find yourself starting to judge her, your heart softens. You realize that she comes from a place of need. She has to be what she is to get ahead. You don't have to. You have the luxury to take it easy, to work or not work while she doesn't have that luxury. As you look at her, you will yourself to understand, to feel for her. And you found, yes, you could feel for her. And you found she is actually cute in a way. And, and looking deep into her soul, you saw there is no malice. You recognize the fact that she comes from the same divine source as you and that you have no right to judge her, for you are by no means perfect. And so you hold her to your heart and you embrace her. And as you do so, you found it is actually easy, easier than you had expected, holding an enemy to your breast. 
and as you hold her, you embody in her all the so-called perceived enemies or real enemies, all the beings who are negative of low vibration, doing more harm to earth than good, working not for the good of humankind, but against it. Those beings who are blinded by their own ego or by their need to survive when it becomes me or the other and where they chose me instead of the other. In her is embodied all the negative element. Not that she is all that negative element, but within her you place all the negative elements of third density being. You embrace it, you love it, you feel one with it because you come from the same source and you know your heart to beat pretty much the same way with all the third density being of greed, avarice, jealousy, anger, that you are subjected to all of it as the rest of humankind are. And as you embrace her and hold her to your heart, you thank the infinite creator, the divine, for giving you this opportunity to feel that oneness. Because it is very easy to feel one with everything you love. The rocks, the water, the trees, the plant, animals, deer, lion, wolf, and those you love, that is very easy. But to actually feel oneness with everything that embodies bad, negative, or evil for you, that is different. And you realize that it is with the heart of the divine you could love and be one with all these negative elements. The infinite creator, the divine, is all love. If the divine is all love, you and they come from the same source. And so you sing into that oneness and you experience that oneness with everything around you and with the divine. And of course, there is that oneness with us also, but you have no problem with that because we come from the divine and you love us because we are so close to the divine as, as you are very close to the divine. You can do this practice as much as you want to. We work it from stone and upwards to your enemy. Whereas yesterday with the other channeler, we work it the reverse way. From your loved one to your enemy to the dear and downwards to the water. And you can do this exercise as often as you want to, as long as it helps you to feel that oneness and help you realize how important that oneness is. Because when you are able to feel that oneness with everything, then your heart is at peace. 
then there is no anger, jealousy, judgment, or any of that negative element. Because to hurt another would be hurting yourself. To judge one would be judging yourself. Because we are all one in the one, in the infinite creator. And with this, we end in the love and unity of the one infinite creator. Thank you, Rahasha. And for all watching, please like, subscribe, and leave a comment. Especially like because it does help the algorithm.